What is up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. It's Christine here and I'm actually gonna be doing a full day of eating on the Hormone Reset Plan. I'm gonna be showing you guys what types of foods I get to eat, what I'm doing, all the things. It's been so long, so let's do it. All right guys, so welcome to the full day of eating. So one of the first things you wanna know on a Hormone Reset is that coffee is off limits. For my ladies who have fibroids, uterine fibroids, polycystic breast, breast, caffeine is known to scientifically proven in studies to increase the tissue of that. So that's definitely something off limits if you're dealing with that. I'm gonna be starting off the day with my IC3. This is indol 3 carbonyl. This is detoxifying to the gut liver and it helps the body naturally detox excess estrogens. So what happens with this is the dosage is one capsule. It has literally the potency of six pounds worth of Brussels sprouts because the cruciferous vegetables are excellent at containing all kinds of good things to help the body naturally detox. The next thing I'm including is my vegan probiotic. Now probiotics are fantastic again for balancing gut health. The dosage of this is two capsules. This is a brand new product that I have created. It has over 50 billion colony forming units per milliliter, two capsules per serving and starting the day with these items. So I got them right here. You can see what they look like, no craziness. All right, we are gonna start with my hemp note meal for breakfast. So I have quarter cup of my hemp. I have my chia right here. And this is actually one of the recipes from my new 21 day hormone reset. So taking the hemp and the chia with four ounces or half a cup of almond milk, I'm gonna microwave this for a minute. So I microwave this for 60 seconds. So I took it out and I'm going to stir the contents and then I'm gonna put it back in the microwave for another 60 seconds. All right, so after I microwaved it for a minute, took it out and stirred it up and then I put it in for another 30 seconds. I'm going to stir it one more time. You can see that it's a little bit on the watery side so I'm going to heat it up for 30 more seconds and then I'm going to let it stand for like one to two minutes. All right, so this is what it looks like after an additional 30 seconds. You can see it's starting to get thicker. So I just want you guys to see everything of what it looks like now. I'm stirring it up and I'm going to let this sit for about two to three minutes for all the almond milk to be absorbed into the hemp. So it's very piping hot right now, so we're gonna let that sit for a moment. All right, so now that it's starting to set, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm adding some liquid organic stevia. I got this from Trader Joe's, and I'm gonna add a couple drops. Stevia has been my preferred sweetener of choice on this program, so I have that. Now, the next thing that I'm adding is almond butter. So on this plan, you actually get two tablespoons of almond butter on this dish. So just top it as such. And I'm using a creamy almond butter. Right, so from there, I am going to top it with my unsweetened shredded coconut, my half an ounce of strawberries, and last but not least, my Lily's chocolate chips are so good. And boom, this is a breakfast, you guys. This is so delicious and wonderful. It, I think it honestly tastes better than oats. I don't know where this meal has been my whole life, but there you have it. So I needed to show you guys my face so you can see how freaking happy I am eating this. I legit love this better than regular oatmeal. Mm. Mm. Oh my goodness. So delicious. Mm. Enjoy. So I'm gonna be following the recipe for the soothing coconut pumpkin curry from the 21 day hormone reset. All the things here, I'm gonna take you through it step by step.
right guys, so the hard part is done, the cooking. I have my whole batch here of my coconut pumpkin chicken curry. This is so good. The only thing, guys, I actually forgot to add the lemon when I was filming it, but I did add two ounces of lemon juice to this batch. So one serving is 13 ounces and I already started prepping it out. This is what 13 ounces look like. It's a good amount of food. I'm going to prep out all of the containers that I need for my food prep. All right, guys, so this is an entire batch of the coconut pumpkin chicken curry, and it's enough for four servings. The way I have it set up is I'm eating two of these a day, in addition to my breakfast, pre-workout, post-workout, and snack. But it was so simple, and this is a really, really good recipe. Let me just, I worked really hard on this one, guys, but that's what it is. Now, you can season this with a little bit more lemon, salt, pepper, cayenne. You know, touch it up the way you like. But this is the first one. I'm going to show you guys more recipes. All right, guys, so I'm going to be showing you my pumpkin sunflower seed pesto that I'm gonna be putting with my salmon and zoodles. So the first thing I wanna show you guys is I have two things of basil. I want you guys to take a look at how much basil I'm using. Typically, basil comes in a much smaller container, which is this, this size, but this size is not gonna be enough to make the pesto. So you can see here, this basil is 1.25 ounces. And I just wanted to point out that this is a zero pesticide basil that I'm using. Please get the best quality that you can practically afford. So this is gonna be the first ingredient and I just cannot wait for you guys to taste this pesto and this recipe because it is hands down my favorite recipe in the entire hormone reset plan. salmon that I got from Sprouts and what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this into four ounce portions, top it with the appropriate portion of the pesto and then I'm going to air fry it. So I'm about to measure all of this out. All right guys, so what I'm going to be doing is I'm using the air fryer. I have a piece of parchment paper right here. So I'm opening up my air fryer. But this is what I do, place it in here. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my pieces of salmon in here and I'm gonna put 2.3 ounces of the sunflower seed pesto. This is what 2.3 ounces of the pesto looks like. So this is how much goes on each piece of fish. So this is a closer look at what one piece of fish looks like with the pesto on top of it. You can see I packed it on top of there with my hands. So because of the size of my air fryer, I can comfortably fit three pieces of fish in here, but I could have squeezed one more, but I, I just wanna put three. The recipe does call for four, but I'm gonna put them in here. I'm gonna air fry it at 400. So I'm gonna show you guys. And for those of you asking, this is the Power XL. You can see the name right up top there. All right, so I just hit, I hit the French fry button and let it go. So it automatically sets it for 18 minutes. So I'm just gonna let it go with that and I'm gonna check it in a little bit. So, so far it's been in there for about seven minutes. I just wanna show you guys what's happening. The pesto is getting so crumbly and delicious. 
but it needs to cook more obviously but i'm gonna put it back in i just wanted to show you guys what it's starting to look like all right so the next thing you're gonna see is the zoodles so i have zucchini here that i've rinsed i have my spiralizer here and i'm going to be making my zoodles fresh because that is what i'm also going to use for the rest of the pesto to serve with the salmon and this is an amazing meal all right so here is what the finished dish looks like it smells divine i can't wait for you guys to taste it but it is all crumbly and absolutely delicious i air fried it for about 15 minutes at 400 but you got to do it according to how you like your salmon all right so now i'm going to make the zoodle pesto i have a skillet here that i'm going to put on high um, i'm using coconut oil spray you guys can use olive oil or whatever kind of oil you prefer and i'm going to start by cooking the pesto. You do not want to put this pesto in there by itself um, raw because of the raw garlic. So this is the portion I have. It's slightly over an ounce, but the exact portion is in the reset plan. So I'm going to let this, you know, break down a little bit and get heated up. But then what I'm going to do is this is four ounces of zoodles. You guys can see zoodles zucchini noodles. You can buy them already like this, like at Target or Whole Foods. A lot of places sell already spiralized noodles. I showed you guys myself spiralizing them. I love zucchini noodles because it's like a really nice portion. It's a really nice vegetable, really nice volume, and it tastes wonderful. I don't recommend meal prepping this in advance with the pesto on it because these get really soggy really quickly. So I would encourage you to either, you can spiralize them, but don't cook them and reheat them. So only do this step right before you're about to eat, if at all possible. So again, I have my skillet here on high. I'm just gonna like take my pesto, break it up. Again, I do not recommend eating this pesto raw because of the raw garlic. You're brave if you do so. Really nice like that. And I don't count these extra little sprays of oil just to break it up. I don't count that. It's just so it cooks. All right, so I've had this on here on high for about one to two minutes. I'm about to turn the heat off. And just note that the heat is now off. This is just a residual heat. I'm gonna take all of the zoodles. Again, this is four ounces. I'm gonna put it in here. And I'm just going to very quickly get it coated with the pesto sauce, but I am not going to cook, like add any extra heat. So once I get this coated, that's it. All right, boom. You do not want to overcook this dish but that's all I did and I'm gonna dish it now. All right guys, so here is what the finished dish looks like. My pesto zoodles right here and my salmon with the sunflower pumpkin crusted topping pesto. It is one of the best recipes I've ever made. I know it looks a little crazy in that other lighting, but I just wanted you to see up close. This recipe is divine. You guys will love it. Very easy to make and it's so delicious. All right, you guys, I'm gonna show you guys the fundamentals of what goes into a hormone reset shake. So starting off with some ice. This is the fiber. peptides. All right, so this is my hormone balancing smoothie, low sugar fruit, almond milk. I have extra fiber from the greens, from the fiber supplement, from the collagen peptides. I have my protein. This is it, you guys. This is what I would consume after a workout. And if I'm not working out, I still want you guys to take this shake as a snack 
on the days you don't train. Just don't take a pre-workout on those days. One last thing to note, I didn't add any fat to the post-workout. Don't add nut butters to your post-workout. If you're just doing a meal replacer, that's fine, but don't add fat to the post-workout. It slows down the absorption of the protein and the amino acids and the little bit of carbs we have in there. All right, guys, so that wraps up. Full day of eating on the hormone reset plan. Please excuse Woozy and all these little noises and grumblings in the background. Did you do a, did mommy do a good job, Cash? What do you think? He scratched his nose, but he just wanted to tell everybody good job with the hormones, that he's here to support you guys. And he's the one always grumbling because he wants to help. <laughs> Have a great day, guys. Please comment below. Thank you for watching this video. If you want to see more, just let me and Woozy know. Is that a good boy? Go speak. 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 Good boy.